hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me on today's video i know i have been mia so to my old subscribers i am very sorry and to my new subscribers karibuni sana thank you for joining me on this skincare journey in today's video i'll be talking about the misha waterproof sunscreen that i have shown you on this channel before before i bought it i had another sunscreen in mind and that is the misha essence sun milk I didn't realize that I had bought the wrong sunscreen until I had it in hand. There is a massive difference between the two and I'll tell you what that is shortly. For now, let's dive straight into the product. The packaging clearly states what this is and that is the Misha Waterproof Sun Milk SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. That's a relatively high PA rating and if you're still confused on what either of those things I've said are make sure you watch my sunscreen video I have everything explained in detail there you won't learn much about the product by looking at this bottle since it's mostly in Korean it's a very small size this is 40 ml but there's a bigger version of this sunscreen which is 70 ml we know that this is a physical sunscreen because it has zinc oxide titanium dioxide but I remember mentioning that it is both physical and chemical, which is not the fact. It is strictly physical. And other ingredients on here include dimethicone, butylene glycol, and calendula. And the three of those are known acne triggers, and they are pretty high on that list. Its other ingredients include aloe vera extract, guava leaf extract, rose root, etc. It's got a very milky consistency that's almost watery so if you're not careful during application you could end up making a very big mess it feels very nice to apply the first few minutes are very smooth and enjoyable and i feel like it gives you a very glowy dewy finish since it is a physical sunscreen it's very hard to spread so you might not end up covering all the areas it's very light and you feel like it disappears immediately but the con is that it will leave behind a white cast and then with the white cast comes some form of dryness within like 30 minutes you're already feeling dry if you rub yourself a little bit you'll see that it's flaking you start looking as white as a ghost and this is because this particular sunscreen was made for fair skinned people while the Misha essence sun milk that I mentioned earlier was made for dark skin people because it does not have any white cast another thing that i did not like about this sunscreen is that i ended up reacting to it i got rashes all over my forehead my cheeks my neck which are all areas that i made sure to cover with this sunscreen i also did not like that price point 1800 bob for a 40 ml bottle and for this quantity it can be used up very quickly considering that that you are using sunscreen every single day and having reapplications during the day. I feel like it would work for someone who is following up with makeup because you'll be able to correct that white cast. But for me, it ended up being a total fail. So that's all I had for you today. A very short and sweet review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you're into skincare videos and want to see more thanks for watching i'll see you in my next one bye for now